Hey man, what's good with y'all, man? Um, it's made of clay, and I'm back with another motivational Monday video. Uh, as you can see by the title, today I want to talk about situations being what you make them. Like, um, what I mean by that is, you know, it's all about how you perceive it and how you allow the your situation to fuel you. It's, it can either fuel your negative reactions or emotions like, you know, depression, anxiety, anything negative. Or it can fuel your positive emotions or reactions like inspiration, motivation, you know, stuff like that. So it's really all about how you make it. And to give y'all some insight, like me, be very honest, like I'm I'm just coming out of depression. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And to tell you the truth, uh it's people that are in or were in similar situations that I was in. And you have this half, they use that to push them into a new, better chapter of their life. And then you have this half who allowed that to drag them down and hold them in that same chapter in life, but just made it worse. So basically kind of holding them back. And I was, this is the few that I was a part of for uh, for like a, a little while, to be very honest. I'm just now coming out of that. And... and just want to let y'all know that, like, y'all situations is what y'all making. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's stuff you don't have control of. I'm going to keep saying that. But at the end of the day, there are things that you do have control of that you focusing on the things that you don't have control of is causing you to literally mess up and destroy the things that you do have control of. And I don't know uh, you all's personal lives that may be watching this, so I can't tell you what that may be. So you're going to have to sit back and do some self-reflecting on your life and your actions and, you know, things that led up to where you are in life right now and ask yourself, like, what can you control and what can't you control? What could you control that you let slip by or you messed up? And what could you control that you focus too much on? You know what I mean? And I had to do that. Like, it was a lot of things that I didn't have control of that I focused too much on that allowed me to, or that caused me to not pay attention to the things that I did have control of and just allow myself to keep keep slipping deeper and deeper into depression and stuff like that. And that ain't really a place you, you want to be at. Like, that's really not a place you want to be at. But at the end of the day, uh, man... You, you could go to a homeless man or an alcoholic or somebody that has like a bad habit and ask them why they are how they are and they could be like, okay, if he's an alcoholic, you ask them like, why are you an alcoholic? And they could tell you, hey, my dad was an alcoholic. My dad had a horrible life. You could go to a millionaire or someone that's successful in life ask them the same question they could give you the same the same answer well my dad had a bad life my, my dad was an alcoholic and i didn't want to turn out like him these two totally different people had the same exact type of parental figure in their lives but their lives went two totally different ways why because it's how they perceived their lives how they allowed their situation to fuel and affect where they were going in life, man. Like, you have control over where you're going at in life. I mean, I seem like it because you focus on things that you don't have control of. But at the end of the day, man, if you sit back and actually get over yourself and actually reflect on the things that you can control, you focus on that and tune out the things that are going to keep coming that you don't have control of, man, I'm trying to tell you. It will go pretty far in life, man. And I'm not even far in life right now. I'm still... On my grind, I'm st I still got a long ways to go, but at the end of the day, I'm never going to get there if I keep focusing on things that I don't have control of and keep literally letting the things that I do have control of be stagnant and literally just sit there and not progress because I'm too focused on, you know, worried about letting things I don't have control of blur my focus and, and blind me from the things I need to do for myself to get where I, I want to be at. You know what I mean? So... At the end of the day, man, your situation and where you go at in life is completely up to you. If this thing is going on, 
see if it's in your control first before you sit there and start going on negative. Oh, this always happens to me, stuff like that. Hey, yeah, yeah, life is gonna be what you think it is. Life is gonna be what you think it is. If you if you think you're destined for failure, you're gonna drive yourself to failure. If you think you're destined to greatness, it ain't gonna be easy. I'm not saying it's gonna be a a red brick road that leads you straight to greatness, but mm, eventually you keep telling yourself that you block out all the negativity. You you gonna get there. It might not happen tomorrow, might not happen next week, might not happen next month, might not happen next year. But if you stay on that ground, it's going to happen eventually. It's, you know, that's a lot of people that are millionaires or very successful that are older in age that literally didn't become successful until they were older in age. But you two focused on trying to have a quick come up and be successful at a younger age. Too worried about people on social media that's probably faking what they got saying they're a millionaire or successful at an age that's either younger than yours or the same age as you. And now you tripping up because you're trying to focus on things that's going to make you look successful that you could post on Instagram or social media or whatever platform that you want. That's like the biggest downfall most of us go through. But that's all I had, man. It's made it clay, man. If you're new to the channel, of course, like, comment, and subscribe for more motivational Mondays. I do other videos. Those come here and there. But this is something that's going to be constant, most definitely. And as always, if you feel like someone needs to hear this, share it. It's not for the views. It's more to provide people with value because it's not, it's not a lot of that going around nowadays. I don't think it ever was. But we're trying to change that. And it's made it clay, man. I'll catch y'all in the next man. video. I'm out. Coming back. New track. Watch this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. TTO.